Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the Editor-in-Chief over at the Serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you about how easy it is to deploy a WAR file to Tomcat using Apache Maven. Now in order to run this application we need three things. First we need an application to run packages of WAR file and deploy. We need Maven installed, which you can see I've already got installed here. There's a tutorial on the server side that talks about how to install that. And also I've got Tomcat, Tomcat 9 here. Um, also another uh, tutorial on the server side to show you how to install that. Um, but those are the key three things that we need. We need an application to install Tomcat and Maven. Um, I'm also going to look at Tomcat. Notice the web apps folder doesn't have any war files in there or anything other than the default applications. Uh, the goal is to deploy a, a rock, paper, scissors web application named rps.war in here and get uh, Tomcat to deploy it, having done all that through Maven. Now, as I said, I need an application to install. I've actually got an application up on GitHub. My GitHub account is github.com slash Cameron MCNZ. And the repository is rock, paper, scissors. You can just, if you can find Cameron MCNZ up there, you can just click on repositories and look for rock, paper, scissors. There it is there. And I want to clone that application, bring that application local. So I just have to click clone or download. You can just clone it like this if you've got git installed locally. If not, you can just click download zip file. Although I will say, I actually want to switch to a, a special branch named patch-1. Um, if you're just on the master branch here, you're not going to have the right settings in the palm file. So, um, so probably doing this with git is your best bet. So I'm going to open up the git bash. Again, make sure I've got this URL cloned. And clone that GitHub repository. And so that's great. I've got my application cloned. As I said, I did want to check out the patch one branch. And so now that we've got that in the patch one branch of that repository, I'm good to go. The other branch packages things as a jar, not a war file. So that would mess things up for this example. So I have an application. I want to package this as a war file and deploy it to Tomcat. In order to do that, I have to have a, a user with the appropriate rights set up in Tomcat. So that means going into Tomcat, making sure that you have a user. So you go into Tomcat conf tomcat users.xml. It looks like I don't have any good users in there, so I need to add one. I'm going to add this user. The username is going to be war deployer. The password is maven tomcat. And the role that this user needs to be in is manager GUI. Uh, I've also added manager script. Uh, and I think that's used in Jenkins and also manager JMX. They say that this can open your site up to cross-site forgeries if you've got all of these, a user in all of these roles. So they say the best practice is just have it in Manager GUI and not the other ones. Um, but I'm going to live dangerously here. So I've saved that. I've added a new user, War Deployer, Maven Tomcat. I now need to go in and just start that Tomcat server. If you already had the server started, you might want to bounce it. because I think the, that is only read at startup. So you may need to bounce the server if you've done that already. Okay, life is good there. So I've now added my user. The next thing I need to do is I need to go tell Maven about that username and password. So I'm going to dig into my Maven installation, into the conf folder of Maven, go into my settings.xml file, and I need to configure Maven and let Maven know about that server. So if you go into Maven, you'll see into the settings.xml file in Maven. Again, this isn't the palm. This is the settings.xml file. You'll see a section to configure servers. And what I want to do is I want to configure a single server. I'm going to call it the Maven Tomcat War Deployment Server. I'm going to use that name inside the palm file. So that's very important. Um, make sure you get the spelling of that right and everything correct. And from here, I've specified the username, war deployer, and the password, Maven Tomcat. And again, that is right out of the Tomcat users.xml file that I just configured. So, war deployer, Maven Tomcat. 
Now in the Maven settings, War Deployer, Maven Tomcat. Okay, I'm going to save that file. And now I'm going to go into the palm of the application. And so here we have the Java web app, rock, paper, scissors. There is the palm.xml file. I'm going to edit this with notepad. Make sure the packaging is war. If it's jar, this won't work. And then I'm going to need to configure a plugin here. And it looks like I got a bunch of different plugins already configured. I'm going to add in the Maven Tomcat plugin. Well, that's a lot of different plugins. I wonder if I need all of those. Well, regardless, I'm just going to throw my new plugin into the top. So I'm just going to throw my new plugin into the top here. And here you can see uh, in this server, I'm referencing the Tomcat Maven war deployment server. The URL is localhost 8080 manager slash text. The path is going to be slash RPS. That's going to be the path for my application. And notice Maven Tomcat war deployment server that matches what's in the settings.xml file of Maven, Maven Tomcat war deployment server. So I'm going to save that. By the way, if you want to go and take a look at that URL, you can always go to localhost 8080 and go take a look at the manager application. We just want manager. And then there's the manager application. I've already logged in, so it didn't challenge me. But if you want to test your credentials, just go to that URL and log in. Uh, but now I've got everything configured. Uh, I've got my plugin. I've validated the manager URL, and the slash text is added in there. I'm referencing the Maven Tomcat plugin. Um, I should be able to run this application. I actually have this deployed very easily by Maven to my server. And so I'm just going to go into my web app, find that palm.xml file, make sure it's there, open up a bash shell from here, and the command is simply maven install tomcat7 deploy. So I'll click enter. It may download a, a few plugins as it does this, so it may take a moment. Um, after it downloads all the required plugins and builds the application, it then gives me a little message here. It says uh, we've deployed to the slash RPS path. I'm going to double check Tomcat. Look under web apps. Indeed, that file is there. And if I open up a browser, I should be able to go to localhost 8080 slash RPS. And all of a sudden, my rock, paper, scissors game is deployed and all functioning on the web. And how did I do it? I did it all simply by using Tomcat and the Maven Tomcat plugin. And that's how easy it is to deploy a WAR file using Maven to Tomcat.